hard training session, it is absolutely essential to get your calories in. If you're not willing to get your calories in, then don't train. You're about to see what's gonna go down in the kitchen. Oh. It's a party in the bathroom, apparently, for this woman. Oh my god, what are you doing? This is a Christian home, ma'am. So what we're eating today is, oh wow, shocker. We've got some rice, cauliflower, beans, and peas, of course, but the beans that we've got today are Central American red beans. Never heard of them, so I tried them out. They're pretty good. Uh, I like them. And then over here, we've got some potatoes, some sliced potatoes. They taste like chips, some carrots and hummus. And then we've got, she she made her potatoes over there, which are quite tasty. I seasoned them. Very similar plates. Mine that she's got sweet potato from yesterday. She didn't eat all her food yesterday, but now. Uh, she's gonna eat it now. <laughs> so, what you gotta understand is that if you're gonna train, you better eat, especially if it's plant-based whole foods, or let me back that up, whole food, plant-based. Plant there you go. Either way, you gotta make sure that you get plenty of calories. Now, this isn't uh, like some dietary recommendations I'm making to you. I'm just telling you, this is a fact. <laughs> if you're not gonna eat, you can't train. You can't support your training, ain't that right? That's right, See? absolutely. But you don't have to eat like savage, like this one over here. Well, you know, when you're trying to get to a 400 pound squat. Well, maybe. Or maybe. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna <laughs> do? So, we're gonna eat this, and after, we'll come back to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed the edits, by the way. Let us eat in peace, please. Thank you. Seasoning makes all the difference. Seasoning does make a difference. Mm -hmm. one, one quick note. My potatoes came out better than his. God. It looks burnt, but it's not burnt. It's crispy. It's crispy. Look, crispy. Listen, listen, listen to this. Yum, 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 yum. They're delicious. They're yeah, delicious. They're, they're very good. Hers are very good. They came out better than mine. They're but, yeah, you know, I just like chop some shit up and I put it in the oven. You guys, you understand, right? Well, leave us alone for a second. Sweetheart, I think you're bothering them. All right. But anyways, uh, we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> and a back. That's right. Hold on. Let me place the camera down here. Is that a good angle? I don't know. But anyways. Hey! Yeah? Come here. Uh, but look. This is what we're... Yes. Oh, by the way. Ate all the food. I struggled a little bit, but I ate it. So did she. I did. She did great. She did great. And then what we're gonna finish the day off is with some, some mangoes, delicious mangoes. The first two mangoes that we got were rotten. We had so them away. They oxidized. Yep. If you didn't know, mangoes are very high in antioxidants. So, just to give you a heads up, if, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lesson. Stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lesson. If a fruit oxidizes or it turns brown when you cut it, that just means it's not high in antioxidants. And don't take this word from me, take it from Dr. Greger. He's the one who told me off of his book. So, but yeah, we're gonna finish this off and we're gonna call it a day. Yes. Which, by the way, Thank God. what? What do you think your parents are gonna think of this? All this <laughs> lack of meat eating. Because they, do you think they will see this or your family? No. Maybe. I don't know. Right. We'll see. Cool. Just gotta see. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure I send it over to them <laughs> on Facebook then. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for watching. I'm The Natural Hulkster. And please, stay tuned for the next one. And it comes easily.